absolutely incredible to come out to this uh, idyllic spot and um, just sit with my peers and my friends and uh, the producers and you know, I think just the camaraderie and around this food and the, the conversations that we're having have just been absolutely incredible. So we've had 50 plus chefs coming from all around Australia today, which was great to have them all in one place enjoying each other's company. But we also got to showcase some of our neighbours products as well here in Mike Being down here in South Australia, particularly at Mike Palonga, to, to work not only with the guys over here visit, who I know very well, they're like family to me, but to dip into some of the stuff like the, the local buffalo, um, local cheeses, Chris Lloyd gave us this buffalo curd to work with, getting to work with the guys from Kurong, I'd never really tasted mullet the way they've been able to produce it and smoke it, um, the carp, it's just this incredible melting pot of things I just didn't have access to. Revista, what, what an amazing place, but also amazing family, and they actually care about what they're doing, and the olive oils, they're dis distinctly different, they've got their own flavour profile, and there's no one's doing this in Australia, let alone the world. So Revista, hats off to you. I'll be on board with the Revista olives from now on, for sure. This extra virgin olive oil, I think that is really unique. And I really love the texture and the wholesome, organic, you know, sort of like very nature flavor. It's something very different from other extra virgin olive oil. Obviously the tasty oils, like some of them are just, yeah, incredible. And ones that are, are going to be used on the, the Manta menu for, for years to come. I actually had the opportunity to eat buffalo um, meat that has been perfectly cooked was just amazing and, and obviously you know the buffalo cheeses, to be able to create some different cheeses that nobody else is doing in the world is really, yeah, it's, it's, a, great, it's a great feeling. Um, yeah, South Australia is very lucky. Never cooked water buffalo before so didn't really know what we were in for and how it was going to turn out but the results were pretty good I think. Um, definitely different to beef, um, a very underrated I think as well, so it was very good to cook with it. Along with the carp that we put in the brondard, just great to use some different produce that's a bit more underrated and not well known within the general public. So we made the cheese heat with um, Chris's beautiful buffalo curd, it was um, just so delightful to work with. It was smooth and creamy and it just gave the cheesecake a little extra something that, that you wouldn't normally get by using just cream cheese. I'm always a big fan of the, the byproducts or the sustainability driven ingredients, so carp was definitely a highlight for me. The carp, the brand name carp that Jason Roberts did, who would have thought it was carp? Carp was just like a scavenger fish, but it actually is platable fish. You wouldn't know the difference. The buffalo that was cooked in the whey um, as, a, as the byproduct from uh, the, the dairy production and the cheese production from uh, Chris was really um, delicious. To see the, the quality of the produce, um, the big surprise is not enough people are using it. I think if you get the chance, come down to my Belonga because it actually is a quite a hidden gem. There's a lot of things going on here that you wouldn't probably expect, but when you discover it, it's like, oh, where have I been? Here it is. This is why I do this. I love it.